Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Stress is a serious health issue that can have significant negative effects on your health. Research shows that one quarter of Americans regularly experience what they would describe as a great deal of stress. This ongoing stress breaks otherwise healthy people down over time. Our bodies are designed to confront serious danger on rare occasions. We have a coping mechanism that's known as the fight or flight response that tells us to do one of two things depending on several factors. In these intense situations, we either stay and face the problem head on or we run, hence fight or flight. Naturally, our bodies respond by producing a reaction sufficient enough to deal with the danger. We experience an increase in adrenaline our heart beats quicker, and our muscles prepare to either defend ourselves or run as fast as possible. But what if we're not really in danger? What if our bodies are telling us that we need to fight or flee in situations that don't require a physical response? That's called stress. And the more that we experience these issues, the more strain that we are putting on our bodies, our heart, our lungs, our adrenal glands, and our muscles. People who are constantly under stress are more susceptible to heart disease, high blood pressure, and a number of less serious ailments. So, what can you do to reduce your stress level and its negative consequences? First, you can practice good habits. Eating right and getting the proper amount of sleep will help you better cope with stressful situations, those that trigger your fight or flight mechanism. A healthy diet includes drinking plenty of water, cutting out alcohol and tobacco, which over time have become poor coping devices for a stressful lifestyle. Eating more fresh fruit and vegetables and cutting back on processed junk food will also make you feel better and keep the excess pounds at bay. Finally, try limiting your caffeine and sugar intake to reasonable levels. That's just the beginning. Once you have adopted these healthier habits, consider adding a fitness regimen to your daily routine. Physical exercise goes a long way to reduce stress and relax those muscles that have remained tense for so long. It will also do wonders for your high blood pressure and elevated cholesterol. Exercise is step two. Step three involves something called acupressure. It involves a deep, firm massage of specific points to relieve pressure and improve circulation in certain areas of the body. Many people who are under heavy workloads complain of headaches and sore muscles in the neck and shoulders. Using acupressure in this area will alleviate tension and allow your body to relax. In acupressure, this upper shoulder area is known as the GB21 acupressure point. When treated, it can reduce facial pain, toothaches, headaches, and neck pain. Getting an acupressure massage will feel great but it could have long-lasting benefits that go further than the release of tension. It doesn't take long, but could make you feel so good that stress will soon be a distant memory. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.